Hi, Earth Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you guys your weeklies for this week of December 31st until January 6, 2024. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all that information as well as the Amazon link to my book, Accepting the Gift, is down below in the description box below. So we are here to do Earth Sign Energy. We're going to start off first for the sign of Taurus. Get ready, Taurus. And we're going to do 30. 30 seconds right on the dot there. Eh. Uh, so 15 card spread for Taurus. Oh, you guys are dreaming. You're dreaming. I can't say that word. You could be extending your dreams in a naughty way. <laughs> Taurus. What in the world? Uh, but yeah. Okay, so somebody's visualizing... Uh, some kind of love to come back after some kind of slowness of balance with this. Now, it's been frustrating situation and mentally challenging, I heard as well. But I do feel that you're trying to keep calm. You're trying not to get into your head here. You are dreaming about them, though. And you're envisioning. You're, you're uh, what do you call it? Well, you're manifesting. Yes, that's always the word I use. But the best word for that I'm feeling is kind of like, yeah, I guess manifesting. Uh, it's more like you're aware of what you're doing, but you're throwing some type of fantasy. I just want to say fantasy out there. for, And you're hoping that this does come true. Now, it could get a little raunchy with your fantasy, but that's okay. You know, it's it's what you want to do here. But I do... Okay, that was the craziest message right there. <laughs> just got to say. But I believe in it, you know. You're still manifesting. You're still throwing that out there of what you would desire, what you want here, okay. And you're doing it on a calmer level either right before you go to bed or if you wake up in the morning and it's like 6 a.m. and it's on a Saturday or whatever and you're like, ah, I could sleep it in like two more hours, you know. And then you start thinking this. Uh, that's what I'm feeling. But I also feel in the same sense that you moved away from the frustration. It was frustrating for quite some time because of the length of time here. But you move forward and you made yourself happy here. But you still daydream. You still think about this person. You still want this abundance of happiness, of love. You know, and you're going to keep on living your life here, Taurus. But you're still hopeful that you will get this. You have two very positive tens. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here. They also want it. They pick up on your energy. They know what you want here, okay? You are really throwing that out there. Not only are you showing up as your own sign with the Queen of Pentacles, you could be dealing with fire here, but regardless, you're really manifesting through your thoughts, through your dreams, through your imagination, through your uh, aggression uh, of really throwing that out there, you know? Uh, and that's good. And it's it's kind of thing okay it's it's sending its its waves out there to them to the universe here it's working so keep doing that good for you Taurus that's great this is definitely working because I feel that they're going to be returning and communicating so boys and girls what we have learned here is that we need to manifest through our thoughts okay when it's the calmest part of the day the or like the late night early morning you get to snooze in a little bit longer and you start thinking, you start daydreaming of how you want this to take place, of how they want to return, you know, how you want them to return. You're throwing that out there. You're manifesting, okay? And that's going to come into fruition. All right, so keep doing that, Taurus. Let's review. You got the Four of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Eight of, clarified by the Eight of Swords here, and the Knight of Cups. So this has been such a long time, but you're working your magic. All right, and that's a good thing. The Seven of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, yeah, it's been confusing, but you took charge and you kept working on your energy here. The Page of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Queen, King of Wands. So they're coming back apologizing. Could be an apology with that Page of Cups offering that cup of love. But definitely wants the old days back again because they remember how happy they were with you here. Empress, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Ten of, it's interesting. <clears throat> now, I know that you guys do represent empresses okay energy empress does represent the sign of taurus as well as the sign of libra here so you could have a little bit of libra in your chart too but regardless i feel that you're manifesting 
you are top notch with this, okay, with your manifestation skills. And I feel that you're going to do it. You're just going to do it. You're going to bring your own happiness in in regards to this person coming back. After quite an ordeal of waiting, there's good old movement, fast movement coming in with the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Wands here. Outcome, love it. They hear you. They feel you. They know, okay, to come on in to communicate to you. And it's confirmed by the Yes card which is the sun card. So moving on, nice spread there, uh, Taurus, for sure. All right, moving on to Virgo. Virgo is five, whoops, 38. We'll put for Virgo, I put a five instead of a three, duh. Virgo. 15 card spread. Okay. Whoa. All right. Let's see. Let's see. By the way, that noise was the dog. <laughs> I just want you to know. All righty. She's laying by my feet. And she's a golden retriever. So she makes all kinds of noises. All right. So in regards to Virgo here, somebody's just fed up. Somebody's fed up with the length of time here and you're done. Uh, but there's kind of like this this thought of, well, what if I'm making the wrong decision? You're kind of confused as to what to do, and you just don't know what to do. Because I really want to put this work in and be sex successful here. For them to come back and return, that's all I want. I just want to talk to them, you know? That's what it feels like. It's very confusing because there's like, I don't know if they are or they're not, you know? Mm -hmm. have a clear way of thinking this is about believing in the system this is believing in this spiritual connection with this person here okay i do feel that but i feel your loss i feel your frustration i feel the mental anguish you don't know what to do you know it's kind of like they just showed me i don't know why why they showed me that but they because you can't really do that without feeling uncomfortable they put shoes on backwards and and then, you know, tying them up. And you're trying to tie it up. But, and then once you tie up your shoes, it's kind of like you want to go. You know, that there's that option of I'm just done. I'm over it kind of thing. But you can't because your shoes are on wrong. You know, they're backwards. You can't walk. I mean, you could, but you're going to hurt your feet. You know, it's not going to be a very comfortable ride without this person in your life. Okay. Hence why the shoes. So definitely I'm feeling that. You know, you got to kind of have this confidence that they will return again. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm picking up. And there will be a new start here. Could be um, could be soulmate. Again, I'm feeling with that two of cups energy. But you got to stop battling with your mind, okay, is the outcome here, you know. Um, and I should take that advice with my own life, you know, too. But definitely, let's do the above and below here. So this has been taking quite some time with the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. So it's kind of like such a long time that I've given to this, but it's driving me cray cray. I can't sleep at night and I'm just totally stressed out. And you got a long time with not just that Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, but you got the Nine of Wands in the next row here. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles and the Death Cards. So it's like, I'm so frustrated I'm going to make a change and I'm going to have a change and I'm going to put in work in something else in my life. And then you're kind of like, no, I'm not going to do it. That's out of my head. I want to, I want to succeed with this. Okay. Emotional roller coaster. Okay. Literally, that's what it feels like. It's like one minute up, one minute down. So confusing with that uh, 10 of swords, the six of wands and the five of swords. So uh, the devil, the nine of cups and the wheel of fortune. So it's kind of like, I get in my head, I want this person, but I know they're trouble. I know it's going to take longer. I know I feel like I'm going to feel like, I can't say that word, that I'm going to feel terrible. I don't know how much longer I can wait. I'm so confused. I just want them to return here with communication and I can stop being confused and have a clearer state of mind with the seven of cups, the page of swords and the ace of swords. It's basically saying to me, it's kind of like if they just return Deb and have a communication, I wouldn't be confused anymore. I wouldn't be heartbroken anymore. I wouldn't be up in my head. I wouldn't be mad at them. I wouldn't be frustrated. I wouldn't be able, you know, I could actually take a, a good night's sleep. You know, I wouldn't be stressed out. So I get this emotional, okay, Lee, all right? 
but they are coming back. And that's the point to this. There's going to be a new beginning here of balance to settle your mind and stop battling in regards to your mind as to what to do. You got to do you, okay? I'm not one to tell people what to do. I, I am really not. I'm totally against that. But this is what I'm feeling with the cards that Spirit's trying to convey here is basically settle your mind and you're just kind of, you're beating yourself up. But all in all, this is supposed to be this relationship. You got two aces here, the Ace of Pentacles as well as the Ace of Swords. So it's all divine timing. Don't we love that saying? But definitely, there's a new start of balance. But work on your balance first and your determination to say, hey, all right, I'm going to be okay. All right, I'm going to calm down. What it is, what it is. What did I have? I Story time, Virgo. I had this one comment. I like this one guy on YouTube. Not in that way. But like, he's very good with uh, his videos. He's a retired, he's retired. He's 59. You know, he gives early retirement advice. And I'm just you know, I'm, I'm old. So I want some advice, right? So I like watching him. He's funny and everything too. And he's good and he's informative. Retire early 500k, I think it is, uh, is his YouTube uh, channel. Tell him that Deb sent you. <laughs> he knows me. Uh, well, not knows, knows me. But anyway, so yeah, so I commented and this person like commented, not, not him, but somebody else commented back. And I'm like, excuse me no it was it was just kind of rude like she was telling me that uh i should um that i should forgive my ex-husband and i'm like well that would be difficult now wouldn't it considering <laughs> you know uh and i did i said because i'm a widow so you don't know me you know uh but you know you gotta get your facts straight here but but it bugged me for like an hour and I don't like that when I when I lose control of my mind and my thoughts. So I get you, Virgo. People, you know, we get we get in our head, you know, and I totally get that, you know. But even me, it took me a little bit to calm down. I'm like, she don't know me. I'm like, Deb, why? And here I am having this conversation with myself, you know. And I'm like, why am I getting upset over somebody who doesn't even know me, you know? Uh, and she was telling me to stay pure. Uh, to work on things with my ex-husband. They just assume that I'm divorced. I'm not. I'm a widow, you know. So, but yeah, so you know what's going on. You know that this is the moral of the story, okay? There's always a moral of the story. Is that you know that you're supposed to be with this person. You know the truth, okay? You know that you've been waiting. You know that you love them. You know that they love you. You know, it's just a matter of time. It's all divine energy, you know. And the other thing that I said was, I wouldn't be against marriage or remarrying, you know, uh, when it's the right person at the right time. I'm cool with that, you know, but and that's exactly what this is. This is all learning lessons along the way at the right time. So you got this, Virgo, more than you know, but I see a lot of dilemma, a lot of mental anguish, you know, an emotional roller coaster here. And I say that I'm not kidding. Emotional roller coaster. I was nicknamed emotional roller coaster. So you know, my picture should be on a billboard somewhere, you know, with that saying on, on top of me. Uh, but definitely, you know, I get it. So try to kind of wipe out that frustration, that mental anguish, and don't beat yourself up because it is a confusing, but you're learning lessons along the way. All right. Don't worry. They're coming back. There's going to be a new balance here, but don't battle in your mind. Believe in this relationship. Believe that they are coming back. Moving on. Felt like uh, Father Fury in in Catholic Church when I was a young kid, <laughs> giving speeches like Father Fury. Father Fury could talk a mile a minute. He was great. Made church go by faster. <laughs> uh, Capricorn, fourteen oh nine. We'll put here for Capricorn. Fifteen cards spread for Capricorn, December thirty first. You're wondering whether or not they're ever going to come back, but yet you're also wondering, do I want to take them back? Because it is it is in the back of your mind that you do love them, that you do want this wish fulfillment, and you're hopeful that there will be a change. But will there? You know, will there be this change? I don't know. I'm up in my head. Here's your answer. They love you. 
Okay, now the lover's card is uh, Gemini energy, does not have to be. You could be dealing with a twin here. You also have King of Cups, which is water sign that you could be dealing with here. But they do love you here. They have quite chemistry, I have to say, as well with that Ace of Wands. But they're going to show the action to come back to communicate. So you can put, rest assured, that they're going to communicate, that there's going to be movement in this, okay? They feel a connection. Again, twin flame energy here with that high priestess. This is not done. This is definitely not done. Uh, but And I feel like I need to say hang in there. I know that sounds odd, right? But they are definitely coming back with the chariot right above that sun. The sun is known as the yes card and then clarified with that knight of swords. They'll be rushing in, okay? Pretty darn fast too with the knight of swords is right uh, next to the eight of wands. So that's really fast movement there. So just keep it calm. Know that they are coming back. Throw that out there with their communication skills. I do feel for some, they are battling because they know that they're quiet towards you. But I do feel also that they're stalking you on social media here. Uh, it bugs them that what they see on social media too. You could be like dating or going out or enjoying your life. And they're a little bit jealous here. They don't want you. I don't want to say they don't want you to have fun. But it bugs them that you're out enjoying your life when they're ghosting you makes a lot of sense doesn't it i know it's yeah uh but they're they're ghosting you here but they won't show that action you know they won't come back here but they will you know that's the thing it's the determination to show the action to speak to clear things up with you here to rest assured definitely energy here it bugs them that they're with if you are with somebody new they don't like that they, they want you all to themselves, not in a controlling way or anything, narcissist, nah, but I do feel that they get jealous, you know, good, and that's going to give them that inspiration to come back even stronger now too, Capricorn, so let's see the above and below here with the Wheel of Fortune, the, the King of Cups, and the High Priestess, so they went through about, okay, absolutely, they got up in their head, they learned tough lessons during this twin flame journey. So did you in regards to the five of uh, uh, swords here, the lovers and the ten of wands. But I feel that it's kind of like that's saying to me, it's kind of like that. They love you. Get those thoughts out of your head here for sure. Okay, because your wishes are coming true. Action being taken and coming in pretty swiftly with the nine of cups, the ace of wands and the eight of wands here. Big time changes of them communicating. Could be two times that they communicate to you with the page of swords here, the knight of swords, and the death card here. So big time changes with communication coming on in. It could kind of shock you that it's been so fast with that, but there is definite movement, a decision in regards to love for movement again. It's going to be pretty. It's going to be nice here of good old communication because I do feel for some, like I said, the outcome there. There's going to be communication coming in by them, but they have to stalk you a little bit first. Find out that information. Somebody, maybe if it's just one of you is out there, but I feel that your counterpart, man, is definitely not too happy that you're out there living life, you know, but that's, you know, they were quiet, you know, but they have to speak this truth. They have to open up here and they think about you and they, they worry that you're not going to take them back. They're making me add the ace and the four swords. That's the five of swords. So... They are definitely getting a little bit of uh, karma. They're getting a little bit of confusion. They're getting a little bit of panicky, worried that you're not going to accept them back in again. So that is what I have. So be on the lookout, Capricorn, for that communication. Uh, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, uh, smash the like button, share, comment down below, as well as uh, enjoy your holiday. Be safe out there. Please don't drink and drive. Be safe. Find yourself a DD if you do need that DD. Thanks, guys. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.